So have you heard of a greenhouse? Yes, a greenhouse is an enclosure with glass walls and a glass roof that is used to grow plants. It is generally used in places that have a very low temperature, freezing temperature. So it is used to protect the plants from the outside cold weather, right? So, the same thing is done by our atmosphere. The atmosphere also acts as a greenhouse for the earth. How does it do that? Well, due to the presence of certain gases in this atmosphere, it traps the heat and absorbs the heat. So, these gases help in absorbing and trapping the sun's heat and keeping the earth warm. So, it does not let all the radiation escape, right? So, this is known as the greenhouse effect and the gases that help in the greenhouse effect are known as the greenhouse gases. Right, so water vapor along with gases like carbon dioxide, methane, sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxide and CFCs are example of greenhouse gases. These are some of the most important greenhouse gases that help in the greenhouse effect. So, can you help me answer this question? Well, which of the following gases is not a greenhouse gas? If you have been attentive, you must be knowing that the answer is oxygen, right? While the rest, that is carbon dioxide, methane and CFCs are greenhouse gases, oxygen is not a greenhouse gas. So, over the years, the emission of greenhouse gases has increased. Industrialization, urbanization, the use of automobiles have increased the emission of carbon dioxide principally. Along with these, other factors like land mining, burning of fossil fuels, use of petroleum in the form of petrol and diesel in vehicles have also increased the emission of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So this increase in the emission of carbon dioxide has led to the warming up of the earth because the more the carbon dioxide, the more the absorption of heat from the sun and that is radiated back to the surface of the earth making it warmer. So we know that one fourth of the earth's land is covered with forest and deforestation actually affects the carbon cycling. It also affects the climate. Now how does it do that? Well, we take in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide in order to survive while the plants do the exact opposite. They take in carbon dioxide, they absorb it and give out oxygen as a byproduct. But what if we cut all the trees? Then the amount of carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere will keep revolving and not get absorbed by trees. This will increase the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Thus, this will actually lead to warming up of the earth as I've already mentioned. Another very important reason for deforestation is the increase in population. Therefore, increase in population has led to the increase of deforestation at various places. We know that to support the increasing population, deforestation takes place to make settlements, to prepare agricultural fields and to set up industries, thus affecting the entire environment as a whole. So it is estimated that the world population could rise and keep rising and it could reach to 11.2 billion by 2100. So isn't that a very big problem? We are in the verge of increasing the population to such high extent and we know that the increasing population demands these various activities like setting up of agriculture fields and various industries thus leading to more of deforestation and more of carbon cycling being affected. So now let's move on to understanding another very important greenhouse gas. So people generally tend to say that carbon dioxide being the major and the most important greenhouse gas is also most responsible for the greenhouse effect or the global warming, right? But we must also remember that water vapor that is present in abundance in the atmosphere plays a very important role, 
right? So in places where there are higher temperatures, the water vapor tends to evaporate into the atmosphere and such high concentration of water vapor tends to absorb more amount of heat, which is then radiated back to the surface, increasing the temperature of the earth in totality. Cattle rearing can also increase the greenhouse effect. What? Well, this is an interesting fact. So, the cattle feed on pasture we know. This pasture, when gets digested in their stomach, produces methane. And on the release of this methane into the atmosphere, it adds on to the greenhouse effect. Well, how does this happen? We know that methane is produced on the decaying of organic matter, right? So, in wetlands, these are wetlands where plants get decayed, then the methane gas is produced and it is added into the atmosphere, right? Similarly, in agricultural field, particularly rice fields that need plenty of water in early stages are almost like the wetlands. So there, decaying of organic matter also takes place rapidly, leading to the increase of the emission of methane into the atmosphere. So with the increase of the importance of agriculture industries and the amount of wetlands and the dairy farming industry, what has happened that the emission of methane, an important greenhouse gas, has increased over the years and has made it a very significant gas in contributing to global warming. It is believed that methane gas is the second most abundant greenhouse gas found in the atmosphere after carbon dioxide. Visiting a beach in holidays is an amazing experience. And we usually tend to carry a sunscreen lotion with us. Why do we do that? We know that the direct rays of the sun on our skin can be very, very harmful. It can cause various skin ailments that can be not right for our skin. And the direct rays of the skin can also be very, very harmful for our health. The ozone layer in the atmosphere also acts as a sunscreen for the earth. Now, in urban areas, due to various reasons, the region tends to be very, very hot. Now, this increases the concentration of smog, which in turn increases the concentration of ozone gases into the atmosphere that can cause various health issues like lung cancer, breathing issues and asthma. Now, there are ozone depleting gases in the atmosphere like the chlorofluorocarbon. This was not generally or initially present in the atmosphere and it was emitted due to the use of refrigerators and aerosol cans. Right. So what has happened that with the emission of these chlorofluorocarbons and gases like halogen in the atmosphere, it has led to the depleting of the ozone layer. Right. So with the depletion of the ozone layer, what is happening is the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun are directly reaching the Earth's surface. Right. And which is very, very dangerous. It is causing harm to the life cycle of plants. It is causing destruction of marine life and it is also leading to various skin ailments. So the gases that were not initially present in the atmosphere are now present in abundance due to various human activities and is causing a major problem for our survival and the environment as a whole. Now, Another very important greenhouse gas is a laughing gas. What? A laughing gas? Well, here we are talking of the nitrous oxide. Yes, nitrous oxide is known as the laughing gas and it is usually used in dental procedures. So why do we call it a laughing gas? Well, it is very simple. Nitrous oxide tends to induce a sense of relaxation and calmness within us that makes us laugh. And so it is called a laughing gas. 
So talking of nitrous oxide, we know that crop production requires nitrogen fertilizers. But in order to increase production and profit, farmers tend to use artificial nitrogen fertilizers. This excess of nitrogen that is not required by the plants or the crops is emitted back into the atmosphere in the form of nitrous oxide. So with the increasing concentration of these greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, the greenhouse effect has been magnified. So initially you see that the greenhouse gases present in the atmosphere used to absorb and trap the solar radiation and allowed more heat to escape into the atmosphere while only very less heat was re-emitted back to the surface of the earth. Now due to various human activities over the years, the concentration of greenhouse gases has increased in the atmosphere. So now what is happening, the amount of solar radiation being absorbed or trapped by these greenhouse gases is of huge amount. They are letting very less heat to escape into the space and more of heat is being re-emitted or re-radiated back to the surface of the earth. This has actually led to the increase of the temperature of the earth to a huge extent thus increasing the global temperature. So as I've just mentioned that due to various human activities, the amount of greenhouse gases have increased in the atmosphere and leading to the warming up of the earth. These human activities generally include the use of artificial nitrogen fertilizers in the agricultural fields, the emission of carbon dioxide in huge amount from the industries, rearing of cattle as it has become an important industry in modern times and also deforestation that is usually done to support the increasing population to make settlements to set up industries and to also prepare agricultural fields. So all of this have actually had a very negative impact on the earth's health and it has actually made these gases go out of balance. So if you want to keep your summer school, you know that turning off your AC or cooler would be the better or the smarter choice. So here I would like to conclude with the fact that the increase of the global temperature of the earth actually leads to global warming, right? And this has actually happened due to the increase of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. So we need to be very, very careful about the various activities that could lead to an increase in the emission of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere and thus affecting our lives in turn. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.